Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Coach Alex for Physique Development, and today we're going to go over the Y raise. So the Y raise is a great exercise to be able to hit your medial delt in the fully shortened position. Another exercise that hits it almost in the short position is the lateral raise. So this is a great one to add on if you're already doing lateral raises. So to find your Y as you go through the Y raise, you're going to raise your arms straight in front of you and then just externally rotate, and this is where your Y is. So it's not out here, it's not right here. It is going to be moving up, externally rotating, and here's my Y. So Alex is gonna go ahead and go through the movement. And with this, you're going to see him do a slight hip hinge. And this is to make sure that the medial delt is on top of the movement. You always wanna line up the tissue with the resistance as you're going through it. So if Alex wants to go ahead and show what his Y raise looks like, there he goes ahead and finds his Y. So now he's gonna go through the Y raise with some dumbbells in hand. And as you see, each time he's not going up and externally rotating, he's found his Y and he's staying in that Y. And as you go through this, you see he's using five pound dumbbells. Now, he can use more than five pounds, but I would recommend most people start off with no weights or five pound dumbbells, or if you have 2.5s, because this movement is very, very hard to do. And so it is something that you do wanna use a lighter weight and make sure that you get full control of the movement. Now, another great option as you're doing the Y raise, you can do it on the cables, but with the dumbbells, you can go ahead and use a bench. And as he gets set up on this bench, the reason for the bench is to be able to have some more output as he's going through the movement. And it's also going to be great, again, to make sure that he is fully stabilized so his medial delt can do all of the work here. So this is an absolutely phenomenal movement to do for that medial delt. Um, and as you'll see as his range of motion, he's not coming all the way down to his sides. He's going where there is still tension on the muscle and then coming up to the fully shortened position here. So this is a great movement to do to grow those delts. And that's all I have for you today.